Good morning. This, uh, this webinar covers professional engineering registration through the Royal Institute of Navigation. The Institute of Navigation has a vision to be an inclusive group of diverse disciplines working together for a more navigable world. In a little bit more detail, um, the Royal Institute of Navigation is a learned society where we aim to enable insights by bringing different disciplines together. Um, the focus today is on number two here in the center. Uh, the Institute of Navigation is a professional body um, and we aim to offer a supportive and straightforward approach to professional engineering registration. That's going to be the main focus of today's uh, discussion. And uh, finally, we really aim to be diverse and inclusive, offering an environment where everybody is welcome at the Royal Institute of Navigation. So registration through the Royal Institute of Navigation. Uh, the regulatory body for the UK engineering profession is the Engineering Council. The Engineering Council sets the standard and licenses entities to become professional bodies and uh, manage registration effectively on their behalf. We specifically are offering registration to chartered engineer, incorporated engineer and engineering technician. This is a simplified diagram, but I hope it'll give you a feel for the process that uh, needs to be followed to achieve registration. Um, the first step is some form filling. Uh, it's important to demonstrate competency and also provide written evidence. Uh, and and to, linked to that, we can provide mentoring support. In the center of the screen here is the review stage. Um, so once an application has been submitted, the registration committee will review the application and then consider whether or not uh, to pass that forward for what's called a PRI, a professional review interview on the right hand side here. And if all that goes smoothly, professional registration um, can be achieved. So what actually do you need to demonstrate? Well, I mentioned competency and commitment. and. Um, this document here, the UK spec, so although it sounds like a specification, it actually sta it doesn't stand for that. Um, it's the UK standard for professional engineering competence, known as UK spec. And well worth downloading, well worth reading uh, and dipping into. Um, it, it covers the competency and commitment that's required to, to become a professionally registered engineer. Um, these are, in top level summary, the competence areas, and you can immediately see that they're not all technical. So the objective of professional engineering registration is to, uh, to have the engineering profession recognized as, rounded as a rounded contributor to, to society. Um, and although technical capability and competency are important, uh, competency A and competency B here, you can also see that competencies C, D and E are much more about the engineer as a manager and as a communicator and ultimately as a contributor to the profession and to wider society. Commitment is also explained in detail in the engineering spec, but I've, in the UK spec, uh, but I've pulled out this uh, top level summary here and I particularly want to draw your attention to the second sentence. So commitment is a requirement to show that a registered engineer has adopted a set of values and behaviours that will maintain and enhance the reputation of the profession. And uh, if you look at the bullet points underneath, um, it, it covers things that you'd expect it to cover, um, things that you would expect of a professional in any area of work. And this applies to engineering as well as anywhere else. So things like complying with codes of conduct, um, safety, sustainable development, and of course, maintaining competence through, through professional development and um, actively participating within the profession. So where to start? How do you get going if you're thinking about uh, going down a path of applying for professional registration 
uh, through the Royal Institute of Navigation. Well, I would recommend the place to start is to have a look at the UK standard, the UK spec. I uh, don't read it from cover to cover, but do dip in and particularly dip in and read the introductory descriptions for engineering technician, incorporated engineer and chartered engineer. There's a, a paragraph within the UK spec on each of these. And as you read those paragraphs, you will determine for yourself which um, of the three types of registration you are best fit for. I've put some one line descriptions here, but really start with that and think about yourself and your competency and your commitment and how you fit with the descriptions that you can read within UK spec. There's a lot of resource available on our web page and I'll put the, um, the web address up at the end of this presentation. Uh, but you can see on the right hand side of the bar professional registration, all of the uh, application forms and the UK spec itself are all accessible from this from this page. So do visit there. Um, and then having read the um, descriptions on the UK spec, I'd recommend you download the application form. And um, you'll see in there that uh, it's, it's, it's well aligned. This is what I mean by a straightforward approach. It's well aligned to the UK spec competency areas. So you'll see on our application form, uh, competency A, B, C, D, and E, account of a technical task and development plan for chartered engineer and incorporated engineer. And then there's of course the need to put some contact information and other, other, other personal details. Um, so that's the, the gist of the, um, of the form, but, the, but hopefully you'll find it straightforward to understand and also link back to the competences in the UK spec. I'd also recommend uh, this doesn't work for everybody, but we found it does work for a majority of people who've been through this process with us. I'd also recommend using a simple tool like a mind map and um, writing the A, B, C, D and E competency areas and seeking to complete two or three bullet points of your own competency that you can offer as evidence in these different areas. Um, you'll soon find out if you're if it's clear to you or whether you might need a bit of support and mentoring to help you through the process. So in summary, uh, I hope that gives you an overview. I would suggest the first step if you're considering professional engineering registration through the Royal Institute of Navigation is to visit our web page and um, have a look at the UK standard, the UK spec. Read the um, read the descriptions of chartered engineer, incorporated, incorporated engineer and engineering technician and consider which registration fits you best. You can see there's an asterisk on this point. Um, we can arrange, very happy to arrange a call with a RIN mentor. And in any case, I'd really advise you to contact us, um, Edward Curtis and uh, email and telephone there. Let us know that you're going through this process and we'll work with you to support you uh, as much as you need. You can then start to map your own experience, competences and knowledge against the UK spec areas, maybe using a mind map as I described, and that will then take you forward towards completing an application and, um, and on from there uh, through the assessment process. Here, as I promised, is the web address. Uh, and we really hope you found this video helpful and that uh, we'll hear from you soon. Please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you very much.